In our last video, we visited Army Corps of Engineer campgrounds, three of them to be exact. Uh, we like the Army Corps of Engineer campgrounds. They're usually pretty clean. They're usually reasonably priced, and they're usually not that crowded. But these three were usual ACOE campgrounds. Um, Cost the Ohio River, and we did something at the end of the last video which kind of shows you when you start trying to get fancy with drones and stuff, what happens to your audio. And uh, it, it was kind of fun, the outtake. The uh, i got to hand it to Beth. She's to really a, a trooper. She did the whole thing and let me cut it. So it was good. Um, this week's video, we're leaving California and we're heading back east to Florida. We went... To San Diego for the holidays and we enjoyed it very much and in this video we're gonna kind of head back through California to Wilcox Arizona we made a really cool fuel stop on the way uh, we had our new GoPro camera hooked up to the windshield so we recorded all that kind of fun stuff and we're looking forward to having more of that on the channel so hope you enjoy the video Leaving San Diego, we took Route 8 and um, we connected up with 10. And it's just a, it's a really cool little ride on 8. I really like it. It's, it's not as well trafficked as 10. There's not as many people on it as 10. And so that makes it for a little less stressful ride driving the RV. Um, we really do enjoy the desert and getting out there where there aren't a lot of people around. It's a lot easier, a lot easier handling the RV when you don't have a lot of traffic to worry about, especially coming out of places like San Diego and Los Angeles, Chicago. They're, they're, it's a lot of traffic. So yeah, we enjoyed, we enjoyed this mountainous kind of territory and we do quite a bit of it actually, um, going back, back across, uh, cross country a lot. Um, and we do see a lot of RVs out on the road. There's a lot of people out there, um, even with the pandemic. It seemed like we saw just about just about as many people from Michigan as you would see from, say, California or Arizona. Um, but you know, we usually do about 200 miles a day. Uh, we try to. We also try to do. One day driving, one day stopped. But when you're trying to get across country, it takes us a good 10 days to get from California to Florida. And, you know, we got our little spots that we like to stop at. And, you know, sometimes you got to stop for fuel. Alright, so let's talk fuel. Um, the RV has two 50 gallon saddle tanks. So you fill both sides, passenger side and the driver's side. And that's just like how trucks get full. Now, one, one, one side is 50 gallons, the other side is 50 gallons of saddle one tanks. Zero, one, three, five, you, you're and there's also um, a five gallon DEF tank. So that's the 
diesel exhaust fluid that you have to add every once in a while. And now the camper is 39 feet long, it's 12 and a half feet tall, and we're towing a Honda Pilot. So with all that, you're not going to pop into the 7-Eleven or maybe over to Wawa and get five bucks of gas and uh, a soda pop. You, you kind of got to plan where you're going to pick up the fuel. And we tried using Gas Buddy and that didn't work too good because Gas Buddy will tell you where there's a good price, but it won't tell you in which direction. You know, if it's in front of you, behind you, right next to you, it'll it'll just tell you where the lowest price is. So traveling across country, that doesn't work too good. Uh, we tried doing the good Sam discounts, and that was okay too, but you never knew whether or not you were going to fit at the pump or whether you were going to be able to um, pump more than $100 worth of gas. A lot of these places, they'll put a $100 limit on your card. So you have to put the card in, take the card out, do your 100 bucks, then shut everything off, and then start it again to get the second 100 Just a major pain in the butt. So last year, we went with TSD Logistics. Uh, you can Google it. It's a fuel program where... See, that window's all nice and clean now. Doesn't that look good? Um... But it's a fuel program, TSD Logistics, and you basically get like a card that will, um, you pay for your fuel with it, and TSD Logistics takes the money right out of your bank account. And it's all legit. Uh, we haven't had any problems with it. We've been doing it for over a year. Um, our last trip between California and Florida, we burned up about $650 in dead dinosaurs. And... Uh, it was like you get a discount every time that you buy the fuel is basically what happens and the biggest thing is the app all the stations fueling stations in the app are diesel stations and they're truck stations so it's it's set up for trucks to use right. and that's our best bet that for doing fuel yeah. Usually we can get fuel, we can be in and out in 20 minutes to a half an hour. And that just works out great for us. Instead of jazzing around with, with all the different, how do I get in there? We have to Google it and see if we can get in. And, you know, are we going to fit? It was always a major hassle. And then try and get deaf. Deaf was always trouble too. So TSD Logistics works good for us. Uh, like I said, Google it and uh, you'll find that it's it's a pretty good deal so that was our fuel stop out of california it was someplace in arizona i don't even remember where because uh, fuel in california is outrageous arizona was a little bit better and here we are back on the road heading back to florida
We're near Wilcox, Arizona on the Wilcox Playas or Playas. I don't know how you say it, but it's like a big sandy area. And um it was quite a quite a ride out here from from Wilcox. You know, it was just a dirt road. You get out here and people just threw garbage all over. There's some some tires and just People just dump their junk because it looks like it's a a wasteland, you know. So, kind of sad to see that people don't appreciate what's in their own backyard. And, uh, I guess that's it. When you see all the trucks over there, that's 10. And then I believe over there is the Mae West Mountains. But they could be a little bit farther down. But that's definitely 10. And then all these mountains all around. Wilcox is back that way. And that's where we're staying tonight. And Beth is the driver. And I think we're going to turn around because the road kind of deteriorates and we kind of saw what we came to see. Walk back. Mary, dog. Mary, come. Good dog. That's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, you may have noticed in the last couple of videos that they've been older videos from like the summer and the fall. We're catching up on our backlog and that's almost done. And we're looking forward to getting back on the road and, and uh, shooting some cool stuff around the country. And with that note, we're going to say see you later. And uh, like we said, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, remember to subscribe. And even if you didn't like it, keep coming back. Maybe you'll like the next one. We'll see you up and down the road.